guys, tell me one thing. We all have a different inclination towards burgers, don't we? I remember the time when burgers had become a rage in India. Since then, till now, my love for them has only increased. But as I grew up and became more conscious about my fitness, I had to stay away from them. But then I thought, why sacrifice something you love so much? And so, I added a healthy measure to my guilty pleasure and came up with wet soy burger. So let's see how to make these with this amazing range of Bajaj appliances. We need to start with boiling some potatoes for which I'm going to use this lovely pressure cooker. I'm going to place a ring, pour some water till the level of the ring. Since I don't want to boil the potatoes directly in the pressure cooker because they tend to get a little sticky, I'm going to place them in a steel pot. I have two potatoes over here and now let's cover it. Pressure cook them for three whistles. Simultaneously, I'm going to boil some water in a saucepan which I'm going to need later. I'm also going to warm up this pan and now comes the hero of the recipe, the soya granules. I've taken one cup of soya granules here and I'm going to roast them in this pan for two minutes. Water's come to a boil. Add these soya granules into the water. Turn off this flame and let the granules soak for at least 15 minutes. Also, three whistles are up. Turn off the pressure cooker flame as well. I have three slices of wheat bread here and now I'm going to crush it in this blender. The breadcrumbs are ready. Let's move on to the next step that is some quick chopping. I've taken one onion here, two green chilies, and one clove of garlic. The aromatics are perfectly chopped. Heat some oil in the pan. Turn on the flame. Once the oil is nice and hot, we'll saute the onion mixture. While the onions are sauteing on low flame, I'm going to roughly chop the tomato. These are done too. The onions are nice and brown and now I'm going to add the chopped tomatoes. One teaspoon of red chilli powder, one teaspoon garam masala, give it a stir. While the tomatoes are slowly cooking, let's strain the soya granules quickly. Also press with a spoon and squeeze out all the water into the pan. Half a cup of boiled green peas and let this cook for 2 minutes. This is done and let's turn off the heat and let it cool down completely. While this is cooling down, check on the potatoes. The potatoes are done and I'm going to peel and mash them. And now into this, add the soy mixture. Let's mix all these ingredients properly. I still have to add some salt, so let's do that. For binding, one to two tablespoons of corn flour. You must be thinking there's potatoes in this, but a little bit of starch and carbs in the right quantity is good for you. Let's shape these patties now, according to the size of your burger buns. Flatten them, roll them on the board, and this patty is ready. And now I'm gonna make a paste to dip them. For that, take two tablespoons of corn flour, two tablespoons of gram flour, pinch of salt and a little bit of water. Make sure all the lumps are broken and this is the consistency of the paste that I need. Dip these patties in the paste and roll it in breadcrumbs. Dust off the excess breadcrumbs. Let's roast these on a pan. I've lightly greased the pan with oil Let's check on this. It has a beautiful golden brown colour. To cook the sides, hold the patty 
with a pair of tongs and rotate and let it cook. Let's get these out. Similarly, I'm going to roast the other two. While these are roasting, I'm going to quickly make the mayo slurp. So back to the blender. We'll start with half chopped carrot, half a cup of cabbage chopped, eight to nine olive slices, one green chili chopped, and one clove of garlic, and eight to ten mint leaves. Add these vegetables in three fourth cup of low fat eggless mayonnaise. Mix this well. Season this with one four teaspoon of pepper powder and one four teaspoon of salt. And your mayo slaw is ready. The remaining two are done as well. Let's get them out. And now the final part: assembling. For that, I've taken multi-grain burger buns and I've cut them into halves. And I'm quickly going to warm them up on the pan without any oil or butter. The pan is already greased right now from the patties. Just flip them over. The burger buns are done. A little bit of ketchup on them. A lettuce leaf. Place a tomato slice. Two slices of cucumber. A slice of onion. A pinch of salt. And now comes the burger patty. And the lovely low-fat mayo slaw. Cover them up, and your burgers are ready. So guys, I'm sure you have made your guilty pleasures and healthy measures with each step of the recipe. Do try this healthier version of burger and enjoy with your family. After all, the family that eats healthy stays healthy. This is Ruchi Bharani signing off. See you soon with more exciting recipes using the wonderful range of appliances from Bajaj Electricals.